Good evening. Two Just Stop Oil protesters who scaled the QE2 bridge at Darford, causing miles of traffic gridlock, have been found guilty of causing a public nuisance. 40-year-old Morgan Trowland and Marcus Decker, who's 34, climbed 200 feet up the cables of the bridge, rigged up hammocks and stayed there for two days. Today, after unanimous guilty verdicts at their trial, the judge told them they faced custodial sentences. From Basildon Crown Court, here's John Ryle. Here's Ryle. That's it. Keep coming down. Keep coming down, mate. Released after today's guilty verdicts, police body cam video of the protesters' 200-foot descent from the Dartford Bridge and a musical finish. That the world needs to see will be the change that the world needs to see will be the change that the world needs to see. We want climate justice previous day, as Morgan Troland and Marcus Decker scaled the bridge, there were anxious police questions about the pair's intentions. At least the answer is, are you here to self-harm yourself? No. Are you here in protest? Safely down, with the help of a police cherry picker, the pair were charged with causing a public nuisance. And today, a jury found them guilty after less than three hours of deliberations. There was no reaction from Morgan Troland or Marcus Decker as the jury returned unanimous guilty verdicts convicting the pair of causing a public nuisance and rejecting their defence that the climate crisis amounted to reasonable excuse for the protest. Outside court, Just Stop Oil protesters gave their reaction. A jury does have the right to acquit based on their conscience. Whether they were aware of that, I don't know, but it's disappointing to see that they have come out with a guilty verdict. Really, there's nothing they can do to convince us that dying for an oil balance profits is in our interest, you know. Just Stop Oil will not stop because of crackdown. You know, the climate crisis is more terrifying than 10 years in the British South. The two-day protest last October closed the bridge, causing gridlock for miles around. Thousands were unable to get to work and school. Businesses lost thousands of pounds. People missed out on medical appointments and loved ones' funerals. This was an incredibly dangerous thing to do. It was not only dangerous for the individuals who climbed the bridge, but it was dangerous for those that were using the road. Uh, the distraction of individuals at height above the carriageway could easily have caused an accident. And then the queues that were caused caused danger to life, for delays to emergency services and to people looking after loved ones. The judge adjourned sentencing until later this month, partly, he said, because similar cases and legal precedents were very limited. He said he was considering a custodial sentence, but that a suspended prison term could not be ruled out. John Ryle, ITV News, Basildon Crown Court.